Hello and welcome students. We are on lesson 2.6 and we are doing the uh, third question. So this is the first question that is outside our notebook work and this says implement the tic-tac-toe uh, tic game using a while loop. So we're gonna allow users to keep playing for nine times. We wanna use a variable to determine whose turn it is and then greet them as X's or O's. And then we want to pick a location on the board according to the number. So the one thing that's really smart here is that we do not need to determine a winner, which of course would make it so that you can't play a full nine turns if someone does win. So in that case, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my while loop and I'm going to say while, and what I need is I'm gonna say while something is less than nine, and then I'm gonna go ahead and implement this code right here. So while something is less than nine, I basically want to update my board. And I'm also going to put in something here to ask the user for input. And that's where I'm going to actually take this. I'm going to go ahead and rip it. And I'm going to put that right there, right? So now the user is selecting what position on the board they'd like to select nine times. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to have a variable that I call turn count. And initially I'm going to set it to zero. And um, I'm going to check turn count. And every single time that I go through my while loop, I'm going to increase my turn count. So here we'll say while turn count is less than nine, we're going to ask the user what board position they'd like to select. And then we're going to update it, which of course we need this part of our list to do, right? So here I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Um, and just to go ahead and start, just to make the, you know, the simple version of this um, right now, turn count is equal to zero. We are using our while loop to say while turn count is less than nine, we're gonna do something, right? And then at the very end of this, I want to have my turn count equal to turn count plus one. And that way, this isn't a loop that repeats forever and I only get nine tries to go ahead and go through. So here, if I go ahead and click start, you can see if I just were to hit you know zero every single time, you can see it's gonna go through and now my code is exited after I have nine turns. Now, of course, the second thing I wanna do is make it so that the user um, or whoever's playing can switch between X and O's. So here I'm going to make a variable car called board marker. I'm gonna set it equal to my X variable. And then inside of here, I'm gonna use something that basically lets me determine um, what board marker I started with and then switch it. So, and again, this is a very simple way to do this. Uh, once we get into our real game, we might want to make it a little bit more sophisticated, but for the time being, I'm going to set an if statement that says if board marker is equal to, sorry, let me go back, the X value that I set it to in the very beginning, then I want to set it actually to O. So here, let me just make sure I'm setting this right. And if uh, the variable is already O, I want to set it to X. So now every time this comes in, it's going to say, hey, you know, on the very first turn, it's going to see that the board marker is X and it's actually going to switch it immediately to O. Um, of course, you could do this a slightly different way, but this is just a very simple, easy way to do it for now. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with it. So here I'm going to print out. I'm going to say the board belongs, or actually I'm going to say the turn belongs to the turn marker. And then I'm going to say plus board marker. And so it'll basically say, hey, the turn belongs to O or X, whoever's up. And then it's going to say, what position on the board would you like to select? And then it's going to change our tic-tac values to the user choice. And it's going to set it right now equal to X. We don't want that. We want it to set it to our board marker. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. And I believe this is pretty much all I wanna do. You know, the one thing actually that I wanna make sure I have going forward is uh, I want to change this. I, I noticed in the last video, we kind of say, hey, we're gonna just use the normal index. But the way that the problem is defined, our very first position on the board is one. So I wanna say, hey, if the user puts in the number one, I'm actually going to use the uh, one minus one index, which in this case would be zero. That way we can kind of stick to the convention that our homework assignment has used. So as you can see here, one more time reviewing this, we set up the list. 
we print out the board to begin with. Then we go ahead and set our turn count and our board marker variables. Then we say, hey, while that turn count is less than nine, we are going to iterate and we're going to count one each time. And then we're also going to check our board marker and we're going to switch it using our uh, if and else statement that we've seen before. And of course, we're going to print. We're going to let the user know what's going on. We're going to ask them for a choice. And then we are going to set the board marker, uh, the corresponding position to the board marker. And then we're going to go ahead and print it out. So here, I believe my code should work. It's saying the turn belongs to O, what position on the board would I like to select? If I press one here, I should expect that very first top left position to turn to O. So as you can see, now that works. What position on the board would I like to select now? I'm going to go ahead and say uh, two. And again, I'm just going to you know continuously go through each position nice and easy. Technically, the O's would have won by now, but we're just kind of you know setting the game up and keeping it simple. And you can see that after nine turns, we are done. Um, there's a lot that this game doesn't check right now, right? We don't check if uh, the position's already taken. We don't check um, if there's a win condition. Uh, and we don't also don't check if there's a stalemate. We just kind of quit. So I believe the Unit 2 project should kind of cover this, and we should be implementing um, some more if statements and potentially some more loops so that we can you know, set up a, a proper tic-tac-toe game. So in that case, we are all done with Lab 2.5. Um, or 2.6 actually. Thank you all very much for your time.